Hello, this is Michael Grant with Sherpa Design and Applied CAX, and I wanted to show in this video how to sew a part um, or a sheet body into a solid. Um, I'll start with a solid body and, and actually make it into a sheet, um, just to kind of show that process also. Um, a couple ways you can make a solid body into uh, a sheet body is uh, you could delete some faces. Um, so right now it's a solid body. If I go and uh, I don't know, delete some uh, faces without heel on, turned on. Um, now I'll have some holes in these faces and um, it's now a sheet body. Um, so if I had received a part with uh, you know maybe some holes in it um, I can go and patch these. Um, I use stu Studio Surface, but uh, through curves, there's a bunch of different ways you could patch this face. Uh, I'm just going to show Studio Surface here. Uh, some issue here. Oh, I see. Start over. Um, there's also uh, patch openings. Might not work on this part. Inside his surface. Then under that, if you do a more under settings, it's trimmed the boundary. Now that looks like it's a little bit. Uh, A little bit uh, <laughs> concave there. Yeah, that's not a good use for that. But um, most people have through curve mesh, um, so that's underneath Studio Surface. Very similar to Studio Surface. You're going to have some primary curves and then some uh, cross curves. All right, so now we've filled in those two surfaces. We have uh, three sheet bodies. Um, if we go to sew, which I've added to my surfacing toolbar, pick, uh, you know, maybe the main body. Um, I picked it because of the color, so it's going to, these are going to inherit that color. Um, and then I'll just pick the two sheet bodies. Uh, you can actually even window select. It'll pick basically the, the sheet bodies that are left that aren't, sewn to the main body. Now if you have floating bodies or uh, you wouldn't be able to do that if you have uh, several different uh, separate bodies. And then when I say OK, we're back to a solid body. Now um, you can also unsew a part. You know, you can pick features and unsew them, but uh, if you ever have issues with it uh, sewing back up. It could be uh, there's a small uh, hole somewhere. Um, so I'm trying to think how I could do this to where I get a little bit of a hole. Um, so if I was to do a uh, delete and then maybe extract a curve I'll just do one. And then I'll shorten that curve. All 
All right, that might have been a little excessive, but you can always adjust it. There we go. All right, so now if I go and patch that up, So there it's going to uh, do it anyway, so I have a little bit of a hole. Um, if I try to uh, sew that up, basically um, I'll get in, uh, it'll, it'll complete the function, but it won't make a solid body. Uh, and so uh, if you get that, one thing you can do is, you know, go back to the sew or delete the sew and do it again. And maybe uh, before you finish the feature, uh, loosen your tolerance. And now we have a solid body. Um, the other way you can do that is um, before sewing. Um, you could do uh, an analysis, um, and then there's one under examine geometry. We'll pick all, and I just hit set all and examine geometry. Um, it'll highlight here where there's issues with the sheet boundary. So when you zoom in, you can see that sheet is not coming together. Um, the other ones are kind of just uh, extra info, but the actual issue is there. So um, that's how you uh, sew up a sheet body or a solid body from a sheet body. And um, hopefully this video helps. Thanks.